Have you been struggling to come up with t-shirt designs for your business? Or have you been wondering how you can boost your sales by adopting something new? If the answer to either of these questions is yes, then you need to learn about typography as soon as possible. For those of you who are unaware, typography is the art of manipulating a text into a visually appealing design. Think about how cool the applications of this technique can be. You can turn boring old slogans into something groundbreaking and revolutionary, and you can come up with so many ideas without having to stress about it all day long. The only limit is your imagination, and this is why so many t-shirt designers decide to learn typography at some point in time. However, just like every other worthwhile skill, learning typography will also take some time and effort. You might feel lost at first when you take up typography and it can lead to a lot of frustration, but you don't need to worry about that because we're here to help. My name is Grace from PrintBest, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the most important tips for creating amazing typographic designs. For more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share the knowledge with anyone who might need it. So without further ado, let's get started with our first tip. Number one, familiarize yourself with fonts. Now that you've decided to learn topography, fonts are going to be your best friends. You have to know all the major font families pretty closely, and to do this, you'll have to set on a journey of learning yourself. Once you're familiar with the fonts, you'll also have to learn how to put them together. Not all font families can get along equally, and this is why you should experiment to know how you can create some great combinations. Since typography is a visual art, you have to make your designs appealing, but that doesn't mean using as many fonts as possible. Instead, you'll get much better results if you're selective in what you choose to use and create the best results out of the chosen resources. Number two is master kerning. Closely related to our previous point, kerning is also also concerned with the way that your fonts are put together. It's the process of tweaking the space between each character of your design, and it shouldn't be underestimated at all. Many people assume that spacing must be easy because of the deceptively simple appearance. However, spacing is just as important as the font that you choose. Without empty spaces, your font won't really stand out either. Some people might consider it to be a more advanced topic, but it should be learned in the beginning so that your foundations are strong. Number three. Personal touch. The one thing that separates good artists from others and which differentiates a computer-generated design from a hand-drawn design is the personal touch of the artist. There is a reason why, despite all the advancements in AI and ML, human designers are still preferred. If you want to create great typographic designs, then hand lettering occasionally is a good idea as well. It'll help you gain a new perspective about how the selection of fonts is crucial and will help develop that coveted personal touch. You can dial it up a notch and design your own font as well. While designing your own font can be difficult and time consuming, it's very rewarding in the end. To make designing fonts easier for you, we've already covered the entire process in a previous video, so you can go ahead and watch that video if you're seriously thinking about your own font, as it will definitely help you streamline the entire process. Number four is to play with colors. Another very important aspect of designing a great typographic design for print is to play around with the colors. This might also be the favorite part of every designer as they get to experiment with all the different colors available. The difference that a simple color scheme can make to a design is unbelievable. Many great designs can be completely wrecked by choosing the wrong colors, and even the mediocre designs can pop out if they're colored right. There are so many famous brands whose designs succeeded solely because of their colors, and the result might have been different had they chosen a different color for even a single element. Learn a little bit about color theory to brush up on your basics if you have to. This will help you better understand which colors work better together and which ones don't look so good when they're printed. Number five. Find a great printer. Once you've mastered your fonts, learned how to space properly, and finalized your designs, you'll need to actually print it out on a t-shirt. One thing that you should keep in mind is the final results can vary from what you were expecting. This is because you'll be designing the font on a flat computer screen, while in practice it'll actually be printed onto a t-shirt, which doesn't always stay flat. Even the colors will look very different once they're printed on a t-shirt. You should try to find a great printer who can reproduce the colors exactly as you intended so that the final results don't vary too much. We at PrintBest have been printing t-shirts for a long time, and we know what designers expect. All the designers expect that their typography design is printed just as crisply and clearly as it looked on their screen, and we help them achieve that. This is why PrintBest has been the preferred destination of every business owner who wants to keep their t-shirt designs printed. Number six, 
keep learning. As an entrepreneur and an artist, it's your job to keep on learning and growing. Art and design is such a vast subject that you can learn a new thing every day for the rest of your life and you'll still not have learned everything about it. Since the trends also change rather frequently, it's best that you stay up to date with what's in demand and which trend is fading away. There's so much that you can do to get better at typography, including studying the designs of other artists and reading books on the subject. If you feel like you've learned everything, then enter the world of design history where you can see the designs that were popular in a time before yours. Analyzing the designs that were once popular and criticizing your own will benefit you immensely and you'll be able to see the difference in the quality of your own typography soon enough. In the end, it's an endless journey that should be enjoyed rather than rushed through. These are some of the most important tips for any designer to get better at typography. It doesn't matter whether you're a newbie or a pro, you can still use some of these tips in your own creative journey. Once you dig in deeper, you'll discover that the tips we've discussed here are just the tip of the iceberg, and there's an entire world of knowledge and learning for you to explore. For more videos on how to create your own t-shirt designs, subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the bell icon so that you never miss out on a future video like this one. That's it for now, and we'll see you next time with a brand new video. Yeah.